And now we're going to start talking about uh, ordering decimal numbers. Ordering decimal numbers. Now, when ordering decimal numbers, it's just like ordering whole numbers. Uh, it's good to put them on a place value chart. So, um, but with decimals, sometimes the students get a little bit confused about uh, lining up the place values. So, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put a decimal down to help us line everything up. So, since we have three decimal numbers, I'm going to go ahead and place my decimal right here on the line. Okay. And uh, since I have three of them, I'm going to put three decimals there. They're going to be red. Just to kind of help us clue in on that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to look at my first number, three and 45 hundredths. I've got one place value to the left of the decimal, so I'm going to go ahead and write my three right there. Okay. And I have two to the right, which is a four and the five for 45 hundredths. Okay, on my next number, uh, nine, uh, 976 thousandths, I have three decimals or three place values to the right of the decimal. So I'm going, going to write my 976 thousandths. Okay, and on my last number, my 12 and 2 tenths, I have my decimal there and then I have two places to the left. So put the one and the two and the two tenths is one place to the right of the decimal. So now I have all my uh, all my decimals on my place value chart lined up, and I've used my decimal places to make sure everything is lined. Uh, some uh, just to make it a little bit easier for the students, so go ahead and put zeros in all the places that uh, doesn't don't have a digit. Som sometimes that's a little bit confusing to the students. So if you go ahead and put zeros in there, it gives them uh, a good solid number to compare it with. So, like I said, we're always going to start in our largest place value, which is the tens place. Okay, and when I'm looking at the, the tens place there, I can see that um, I have a, a zero, a zero, and a one. So, automatically, I know that my one is my largest place value. So, that's going to be my first one in my order. So, I'm going to go ahead and label that with a one. Okay, that's going to be my first one. Okay. Uh, I go over to uh, the ten, uh, the ones place now. Okay, I'm looking at the ones place. If I look in the ones place, I have a three and a zero again. So automatically, uh, I know I've already used this one, so I'm not using my last one anymore. So I'll put a line through it. Um, I have a three and a zero, so automatically I know that's going to be my my second number in my order, and automatically. Uh, I, that leaves me the nine, 976 thousandths. That's going to be my third in my order. So when I'm ordering these decimals, my largest is going to be 12 and 2 tenths. My next largest is going to be 3 and 45 hundredths. And my smallest is 976 thousandths.